Well, new at five, the health issues of those who worked at Rocky Flats nuclear plant are well documented. Well, now we're learning more about health problems experienced by people who live downwind and a possible cancer connection. Here is Denver 7 reporter Lance Hernandez. It's a national wildlife refuge now, but for 37 years, employees here made triggers for nuclear bombs. Now the people who live downwind want to know if that compromised their health. In the last 10 years, I've lost two wonderful uncles that used to work up at Rocky Flats. One of them about two years ago now, and he had no less than 50 uh, cancerous tumors in his body. Carl Campanella was so concerned about living near Rocky Flats that he moved to Brighton. He took part in the health survey. So did many of the people in this room. Today, they got preliminary results. And in this study, what we're seeing is breast cancer, thyroid cancer, prostate, and colon. And so um, that's unusual. Normally, thyroid cancer counts as number nine in the U.S., so that's just an unusual finding. Metro State Healthcare Professor Carol Jensen says the study also found rare cancers make up nearly half of all the cancers in the 1,745 people surveyed. Normally, they're only 25 percent. Jensen says the results are not definitive, and there needs to be more research. CU Professor Harvey Nichols suggested a way to find out if the cancers might be related to rocky flats. There's evidence that's available potentially um, in the form of isotopic fingerprinting of plutonium particles that might be found inside the tumor materials that's being discarded daily. Jensen says if they could get grant money for the isotopic fingerprinting, it would advance their research. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.